In the Carolina kitchen today, an almond crusted on a fish may not sound like anything a new idea, but wait till you see the delicious spread that's holding that coating in place. Welcome into the Carolina kitchen. Bruce Brown of Bruce's Fabulous Foods in Marion is back with us. I'm ready. You are ready. <laughs> He's been on vacation. He's back with a vengeance. <laughs> you bet. And you're ready to cook something great. What are we making? Uh, a Cuban tilapia filet. And it is something that I tried it as soon as I saw this recipe and I tasted it. I knew I had to have the recipe, so I took it home, made it for Barbara Jean. Now I'm making it for you guys today. Have some real simple tilapia filets uh, that you can get in most of the grocery stores out. Right. Very popular fish. Uh, get your pan starting to get heated up. In the food processor, we're going to make like a paste that goes on the tilapia. Three quarters of a cup of crushed almonds. Now, if Barb loves almonds, but what we're going to do to start is uh, I take whole almonds. I'll put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them with my meat mallet. It's a lot easier than trying to buy sliced almonds or something of the sort like that. Okay. To the almonds, we're going to add four cloves of garlic, about a cup of diced up onion. And it doesn't have to be diced up real fine or anything like that. Simply the fact that we're going to be processing it all. A tablespoon of fresh cilantro, which is another one of Barbara Jean's favorites. Um, a little bit of, believe it or not, black pepper, cumin, and sugar. Okay? Sugar. okay. Sugar. Just a little bit of sugar because it's going to be offset with some lemon juice. But I like to get all the solid stuff started first and get it starting to be ground up just like that. Ah, perfect. Now, what we're going to add to that is a couple tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of a dry white wine. Ooh, it's got some good fragrance coming oh, from exactly. it. Oh, wow. exactly. See, that's the almonds already. And if you toast your almonds first, it makes it even better. And then the zest and the juice of one whole lemon. And you guys know me, I'm a scraper. I don't like leaving any of the lemon behind, especially the zest. There's so much flavor in lemon zest, it's not even funny. We're going to grind this all up together in the food processor and make almost like a paste out of it so that you can coat it over your tilapia place, hopefully on both sides. And all you have to do is then just pan saute the tilapia and you're going to be like stunned at the flavor. And you don't have to marinate this ahead of time then, no. which is so nice. Um, if you want to refrigerate it and put it, put it on the paste on the tilapia and leave it on there for about an hour in the fridge, that works, that, that'll be fine. But uh, some of the paste will fall off, but it's going to impart so much flavor. See, all I'm doing is just kind of spreading it on there. We're going to put the pan back on the heat now. And just, as like I said, you just use a tablespoon or a soup spoon just to get it kind of spread on there like this. And then into the frying pan. If I can get them out of my hand. Just like that. Take some more, coat it on the other side. And you have, you will have a really nice, I mean, do, so, do some uh, couscous and a nice green salad. And this is just going to turn out to be an outstanding dinner for you. And a nice healthy meal, too. You bet. All right, let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That is the fastest way. Or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803. What are you calling this? This is Havana. Almond tilapia. <laughs> it's hard to say really fast. Havana <laughs> almond tilapia. And that's what's cooking today in the Carolina <laughs> kitchen.